everyone, I hope you're well. Uh, welcome back to my channel and today we're going to tackle the bedroom. So as you know, we did make a start on the wardrobe a few weeks back and look, it's good. That's more or less things I'm keeping. But today, look, I can't avoid it much longer. I need to sort this out, this cupboard. And then there's still loads to do. I've got toiletries in this one and there's another cupboard there and there's a cupboard over there and a cupboard here. Hmm. But let's make a start on this one. So I don't really know where to start. I just seem to have like a million t-shirts and stuff and why I have all these stuff. So let's just pull them out. Over the way. So I don't even know what half these are. I think I'm going to have to be ruthless. Oh, the thing is, I like my t-shirts. Like this is an Australia one, but I don't really wear it. So charity. Um, oh, this one I do wear, so we'll keep that. And oh, this is one of my work t-shirts, so we'll keep that for now. I don't want to wear my nice clothes when I go to the work and I'm cleaning toilets with bleach, so I'll keep the old ones for that and then just chuck them at the end. Ooh, like this. So true. If you don't love yourself, how the hell are you going to love someone else? So true. I do like that t-shirt. Now you see this is what's going to happen. I like this one, I like this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pile up the ones I like and then keep five to seven. Right, swimwear. Hmm. I don't know if I really wear that. This top I like, but do you know what? I never, never wear it. So absolutely no point in me keeping it. I'll put that in the charity part. I've never worn it. Right. Let's crack on with this. Okay, so we've got everything out of there now. And... We've got a pile here that can go in the bin, a big pile here for charity, and then, I don't know why, but I've got like my trousers in here. So we'll put back in here what I'm keeping, for now anyway. <coughs> Jumpers, because you're still in the UK. Night dresses. I don't know why I have so many of them. Uh, what's that? Oh no, I didn't need that. So I was going to keep those two. Only because it's going to be cold before I get to Asia. Swimwear and scarves, I need those. Work stuff. And so, how many t shirts have we end up with? One, two, three, four, five. Six. Happy with that? Instead of 50 odd? Oh, yes, that looks better. That looks better, that bit. But now, now we've got the underwear drawers. Oh, Peg. Okay. Oh, it's at the bottom. Now, why I have so many bras in here is beyond me. I mean, look at this. This is mad. I mean, what woman needs this many bras? Must have socked up because in the other drawer. That's mad, isn't it? Oh, I mean, I mean, look. I don't know what how old this one is, but <laughs> that's 
that's not even going to go around me anymore. Oh, this is mad. I think a lot of these are going to be going in the bin. Okay, but out of interest, let's count them up. 46 bras. 46. Now that's taking hoarding to a whole new level. That's just ridiculous. And that's not including the one I'm wearing and whatever's in the wash. That's, that's just shocking. <sighs> so what else have I been up to this week? So I um, gave six bags of clothes away to charity and I just went through what wasn't doing well on Vinted or has been on there for a long time and just bagged them up and off they all went during the week. So that's made quite a lot of space in the garage downstairs. Um, what else? Oh, so I thought I'd better start listing my big furniture. Oh gosh, downstairs is just chaotic because there's boxes everywhere. There's nowhere to put anything. And I have to clear a cupboard, take the picture and then go to the next cupboard, move everything from the top of that onto the top of the one I've just taken a picture of. I just feel like I'm going round and round in circles. It's absolutely exhausting. And nobody wants my junk. But it's not junk. Well, I don't think it's junk. Um, but obviously some people do. So that's been keeping me quite busy as well. Anyway, now we've got one more drawer left. So, so, oh yeah, I should say, right. So I wear, I like to like pad and underwire myself. But look at the size of these bras that I wear. And I find this when I go on holidays, that's just three of them. And look how much space they take. This is the case that I'm going to be taking with me when I go traveling. And you put three bras in there, that's quarter of the case gone. So I've got to rethink this. I'm going to have to give up the padding and the underwire, I think. Ah. All right, let's put those ones I'm keeping in the drawer. Oh gosh, the drawer looks so bare. That's good. All right, and then we've got one drawer left, which is, oh God, pants and socks. Oh, I dread to think how many of these I've got. Oh. Hundreds of socks. Hundreds and hundreds of socks. Oh, God, mighty. That belongs to. Um, and what else? Oh, leg warmers. I love leg warmers. I got these ones from. Oh, well, that's odd because I've got. Oh, there they are. I was going to say, I've got one sock and one leg warmer. So I've got the sock and I've got the leg warmers. Um, but I do actually wear them in the winter. I have some black ones somewhere. And they're pretty funky, aren't they? And I've got socks as well. <laughs> um, I'm not sure I'm going to need those in Asia. Oh, pop socks. Who wears pop socks nowadays? I don't wear them. <laughs> Fishnet stockings. Well, they must be ancient because <laughs> it's been a long time since I needed them. Uh, I don't wear any of them. Uh, I do use those. There's my black leg warmers. Right, give me a minute to count my socks up. Well, it's not too bad actually. 14 pairs of socks, plus I'll have some around the, the washing and on. So say I've got 20 pairs of socks, that's not too bad actually. And um, 16 pairs of knickers plus whatever's in the wash. About 20 of each, that's not too bad. But look, how many of you have got these, right? I've got loads of these, I don't know why. You know these things that are supposed to suck everything in and make you look like a supermodel? They don't bloody work. I've got that one. God, that one looks in, oh, really uncomfortable. It's got a corset inside as well. Gosh, do you think I ever... I mean, I must have worn it, but how on earth did I get in it? Oh, God, they're so... They're so tiny. Maybe I shrunk them in the wash. I can't wear them again. Um, and then there's something new in here. Oh, 
a brand new corset which I've never worn. Oh, it's quite a nice one actually. <coughs> it's just not bloody happening, is it? I just have to love my lumps and bumps. All right, well, I'm, I'm quite quite happy with what we've we've done today I'm quite a bit of me got my leg warmers in there I'm still in the UK put my socks back in oh god these drawers look much nicer I wish I'd done this shit ages ago now instead of leaving all that mess I've got these drawers here and oh, we've all got them haven't we but I seem to have quite a few of these sort of drawers where you can open them and go <laughs> oh, I just can't bring myself to tackle it to today. Right, so now we've done that cupboard, I want to get this rack done. Let me show you it. So it's like a shelving unit I have. Um, I guess it's a bookcase, but I used it. I brought it. It's, it's beautiful. It's really th like th thick, solid wood. It's beautiful. But I brought it because I needed something quite slim so I could get around the bed. But look, all this rubbish on here. And I need to list it for sale. Uh, so what I'm going to do is all those bathroom things, I'm just going to put in the bathroom for now. And then all these shoes that are here. I made some space in the garage for things that are for sale. And I'll just add them there. That should clear that shelf. Now, I have actually been very good. So I said to myself when I started this, I was not going to, when I go to the supermarket, buy any toiletries or body creams or anything because I probably have them here just hidden in a drawer. And when I emptied the uh, cupboard in the hallway, I found like I have seven deodorants and God knows how many shampoos. So I'm not buying them anymore. And... Uh, unless I absolutely know from checking every cupboard and everything that I've run out of that one thing. And in two months, I haven't run out of anything. I've got plenty of stock here of things. So I'm, I'm not buying toiletries until all of these are used up. I need to be strict with myself. I have to say, I am exhausted now, so I shall finish that off and then I shall have a rest. But um, I'm looking at that cupboard now and where I can actually find things in the drawer and find a pair of socks. I kind of wish I'd done this earlier and not been such a hoarder. I, you know, life would be so much easier if you could just find what you're looking for. So, uh, but can't have regrets in life. I was a hoarder and now I'm not. Well, I won't be. Um, not much of an update on the sale of the house. Uh, contract's still going through. Her surveyor did come this week and uh, I haven't heard anything negative yet, so fingers crossed. And uh, I did try and chase the lawyers this week, but whew, they're all useless, aren't they? But I'll just keep pestering them and pestering them. So um, we can just keep going. I've got the van booked in for an MOT next week. I don't think there'll be any problem with it. Uh, mechanically, the van's sound. Um, and uh, just keep plodding along. Let's hope we get rid of some of the bigger furniture items this week. Oh, I'm glad I s sort of thought to list them early rather than wait till the last minute because they could be set on Facebook Marketplace for, what, over a month? Um, but what I might do in uh, next week or the week after is go and see what the charity shop is willing to come and collect. That will make everyone's life easier, wouldn't it? And then it would go to a good cause. Anyway, let me get this stuff back in the bathroom and the shoes put away and uh, then I can start listing these things. Thanks for watching. I'll speak to you all soon. Onwards and upwards. Ciao. Tea time.